Welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Cook with the Wing King. Uh, the last time we did was the, uh, the Naked Wings. Um, I've had decent feedback from it. <coughs> um, but it's still a process in it, so we're going to grow and continue to do more videos. We're going to mess around with different formats, see which ones work. So just please just let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer, what you like, what you don't like, um, or what you want to see me cook. Yeah? Just see how it goes from there. So, in the, today we're making chicken taquitos, which is marketed as Mexican, but it's not, nah, sorry, it's Mexican, sorry Mexico, it's, it's yours, but the Americans has their own little twist on it, so that's what I'm sticking with, I don't know the original recipe, I just know what I used to eat, where I was over there in America, uh, and I wanted Mexican food, right, it's very, very simple, and it's good with the kids, um, you can change things, you can add things to it, what we're doing today, um, it's got a little bit of buffalo sauce in it, only a tiny bit. Um, but if, you're, if you are feeding kids that don't like spice, you can take the buffalo sauce out, you can change it for barbecue sauce, ketchup, whatever you want. But for me, buffalo sauce, if I'm honest, I don't really like buffalo sauce. It's too vinegary. But um, with this, in this recipe, you really don't taste much of it at all. It just lubricates everything. Yeah. So um, this is really simple and easy. I've done it the simple way, right? Go to your local grocery store, get you a cooked chicken. It's already cooked, ready to go, yeah? Um, all you need is a cooked chicken, one packet of cream cheese. You can get the plain one. I've got the garlic and herbs, just for more flavor. And that way I don't have to add any garlic or herbs myself, yeah? As we said, a hot sauce of your choice. And get some bread wraps, yeah? There's all sorts you can get. If you're feeding the kids, I would go with a brioche bread wrap I've seen that today um, these are just plain you can get a whole meal it really doesn't matter um, any type of wrap you want to use whatever you normally use in your house is fine that's all you need you can add more things to it if you want you can add different veg um, you can add chilies um, you can add whatever you want uh, scallions whatever you want to do with it but this is just a plain simple one and with this you still get tons of flavor so yeah all we want to do put everything into a bowl mix it up um, use your hands, don't need a knife. Use your hands because you can feel, you can mess around with the, um, the chicken texture. You want it more chunky, um, then leave it more chunky. If you want it more broken down, just keep mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, it will come down. Um, just throw it all in a bowl. I'll, you'll see the consistency that you need. It's, there's, you can't ruin this, it's impossible. This is like a no fail, like a fail proof, whatever kind of thing. Get everything into the bowl. Another thing you can add is, uh, Especially if you got kids and they like cheese, mozzarella. Mozzarella is a good one. So when they bite, the string is back. They kids eat that supper. Um, so yeah, add all that in to the bowl. Pull it in the wrap. Roll them. I'm gonna fry them. You can bake them if you're into trying to stay away from the oil or whatever. Just make sure you spray down the oven um, wherever you're baking them in. Spray down. Throw them in. Uh, keep them tight. Don't double layer them. Just keep them tight oven until about 200 degrees about 10 minutes until the um the wraps are nice and uh, golden crispy um and they'll be ready but again we're gonna fry it right so all we gotta do get your chicken put it in your bowl get all that juice in there that's gonna help for more flavor and then just take off the fork the, the hardest part of this is making sure you don't leave any bone in right to be careful because the bottom of the chicken is where all the bone is so make sure that you um get all the bone out right if you break it down a lot then you, you're more likely to find any bones you have missed but if you leave lumps like big chunks of chicken you're more likely to miss um some bones in so but what i like to do is i flip the chicken upside down and i take the whole backbone out this is what i'm doing right now it's all coming out and then once that's out it's just a matter of breaking down the chicken to the texture that you require. Right? If you're missing with kids, then I would go fine. Yeah? But this for like adults, um, I probably I'd leave more nice sized chunks in it because that it's just more enjoyable to eat and you can see you, you feel what you're eating more. This is just like a side dish or if you're having people over for the game or whatever, just want a couple little different party snacks. That's what this is. This isn't like a main meal. Just a little side dish. Probably only, we don't need like two, three or four of these each person. Um, a little goes a long way. 
right? You can make uh, this one chicken here, you could probably get about 15, probably more than that to be fair, uh, taquitos, because you don't want to overstuff the, the, the bread wrap. If you overstuff them, they'll bust, yeah? It's just a little side dish, so just keep it simple. So now we put the cream cheese in. <clears throat> and then the buffalo. You don't need much buffalo at all. As much or as little as you want. I could take my glove if I do this, but I don't, I don't like wasting gloves. Because I have to put another one on. And I would just naturally just use my mouth, but I'm trying to not look crazy for the camera. Yeah. So go with as much of as the buffalo as you, as you want. I'm going to go with uh, this look first. Two tablespoons. Right? Mix it all up. I'm mixing it, I'm not breaking it, yeah? Because I, like, I prefer the texture to be a bit more lump, uh, bigger pieces and chunks of chicken. Because um, no kids are eating this one. But, <clears throat> again, if it's for the kids, I probably want to break it down a bit more, all right? Once that's all done, because the chicken was, um, it was a cooked chicken, I just bought it, it was pretty warm. It's cooled down a bit now, but it's still a little bit warm. Your best bet is to leave it, to let it cool down to room temperature. Um, just leave it for about an hour, cover it up, don't put it in the fridge, leave it out for about an hour. Once it's cooled, it will set, right? Now, you kind of need it to set because if it doesn't, it will leak while it's cooking. If it doesn't set, add cheese to it, grated cheese, whichever cheese you like. Before we said mozzarella, adding the grated cheese will make it set a bit better. Why? Don't know, but it definitely does, right? So just add some cheese to it if it's not set to your to the way it needs to be set, um, and that will fix the problem if it's too moist. So this here, it's too loose, right? You let it set out for an hour, but it's still too loose. So I wanted you to see it as it is, like this now. You could probably get away with doing it like this, but I wouldn't take the risk, right? So as it's so loose, I said you can add cheese to it, and that will uh, get rid of the moisture, right? So this is just plain mozzarella. Um, if it was me, for me, preferably I would do a mixture of mozzarella and mature cheddar. But let's pretend that um, this is for kids. Add some cheese and just mix it and then see how it goes. It will start to tighten up and you will feel it. As you can see here, it's, it's tightened up. Could do with a little bit more cheese though. Just to tighten up a bit more. So that's half the bag of cheese. So talking about 125 grams. I just added to that there. All right, and now for me, that's good to go. All right, so just leave that for a bit. And once you're ready, and then we'll come back and we'll roll them up in front. So now we're just gonna um, build. We're gonna wrap it, roll them up, throw them in the fryer, probably take like three minutes, <coughs> and we're good to go. All right, so because we're frying them, it's important that we seal these as we roll them up, right? Make sure there's no uh, areas for um, them to leak out in the fryer into the oil, right? If you're baking them, you can just roll them. But because we're frying them, we're gonna egg wash the corners, sorry, the edges, uh, and fold them in so that they're all packed, compact, uh, packed in tight, right? So all this is just a little bit of egg, just brush it around, and then we'll start filling them. Don't overstuff them, yeah? We don't need too much. That's about half a tablespoon there. So we'll not spit this way enough. We'll go with a whole tablespoon. Yeah. Don't go all the way to the edge because you need that space. All right. And we'll just start to roll them. Bring them in first, kind of like um how you would roll a burrito, I guess, but um, tighter, obviously, because it's less. So just roll it up. Keep it. Don't squash it down too much because it will just start to come out. Go light there, then as you've gone over the chicken, start to go back tight again, all right? And that's one, yeah? So we'll just keep, uh, repeat the process until all your chicken is gone. This also makes a good dip, all right? So what we could do with this, get these, cut them into uh, four or even eight, whatever, whatever size you like, deep fry them, take them out, season them up, 
that could be your little chips instead of buying the ones from the store, um, Doritos or whatever. Make your home, own homemade ones and you could use that as a dip as well, right? Homemade chips, if you're having people over, is a game changer, right? Everybody expects Doritos. Doritos are cool, but when you make them yourself, people are, where'd you get these from? What you, all you did was cut it and fry it and season it. It's just, it's completely different. It's way better tasting as far, sorry, not better tasting, but it's more like authentic. Like people will be like, oh, where are these from? Because normally it's just Doritos, isn't it? So, um, yeah, we just repeat the process until all the reps are done, or all the chicken's done, and then we're gonna fry. All right, so now we've done them. Um, I'm not gonna cook all of them. I'm just gonna do three for now because I don't want to waste food. But they're rolled, we'll fry them, if you're frying them, you're going to want to put something on top because what's going to happen is they're going to float, right? So that's okay if you want to like twist them so they cook, cook evenly. But I'm just going to put them in the basket and put another basket on the top of, the, of, the, of these gently and let them fry under um, deep fry for about three to four minutes until they're nice and golden crispy. And then um, take them out and they're ready to go, right? So they're going in now. Make sure they're properly sealed. Place them in gently. If they're not sealed, then you start to see leakage, right? And that's really bad news, right? So once they're in, basket on top, gently. Let them cook for two to three minutes. Make sure they're nice and golden brown and they're good to go. The safe thing about this is everything's already cooked. You don't have to worry about any sort of illnesses or uh, making sure you be careful about uh, making sure food's cooked. Everything's cooked, just get the color on it. That be a nice crisp, um, and then they're good to go. Take them out, drain them, and then share them. Our rabbits are ready. Just take them out. Take them out, put them on something, make sure that uh, they, dra they drain off. Get rid of that fat, you know, what we do. Put them in there. Seal them, otherwise the chicken will be all in that. They'll ruin your oil. There will be no filling with the knees. It'll just be a waste of time, a waste of effort. Right? So that's it. They're cooked, right? If you want to garnish it, maybe you want to put a little bit of uh, cheese on the top, um, parmesan or something. If you want to be fancy, chopped parsley or something like that. Don't do that for the kids. <laughs> um, and that's it. Chiquitos, right? Really good. Something different. Very, very simple, easy. No fair, everything's cooked. Just the only thing that you need to make sure, the hardest part of it is making sure it's sealed. Once it's sealed with the egg wash, it's a breeze, right? Thanks for watching another Cook with the Winkings episode. Please like, subscribe, share, tell friends, and in the comments, let me know what you thought and what you want to see cooked, right? Thank you.